Hi, I'm Emma, and this is my image argument on why Old Town Road should be considered country and included on the country billboard charts. Lil Nas X's recent hit song, Old Town Road, has caused some controversy around the definition of country music. He released the song underneath the country genre, but the Billboard Top 100 took it off of its country list. They said that they took it off because it had a trap beat, lack of country airplay, mixed categorization on streaming services, and no involvement in Sony Music Nashville. In the song, he references common country music topics such as tractors, horses, cheating, and wrangler over the top of a distinct banjo sound and with a southern twang. The music video highlights western clothes such as cowboy hats and boots, complete with cowboys, horses, and line dancing. The popularity that Old Town Road has experienced is very different from the amount of plays it gets on country radio. There's a disconnect between the fans and the people who are putting it out, which is one of the reasons why Billboard said that it wasn't uh, considered country because country radio wasn't playing it. However, we see that the fans really love this song and they love Lil Nas X. So to get to the reason why, it's been so hard for him to get into the country music genre. We have to look back at what people consider, quote unquote, the old fashioned definitions of the genre. One of the most American instruments that you can think of is the banjo and is a great part of country music today and in the beginning. But a lot of people don't know that the banjo is descended from the Akanti. It came from West Africa from the Jola tribe, and it was recreated by slaves from memory. The accounting has a long neck, a gourd, and a shorter fifth string, and is played in a claw hammer style, much like the banjo. Here's an example with a painting called The Old Plantation by John Rose, and you can see an accounting or an early banjo being played to the right by a slave on a plantation. The banjo became popular through minstrel shows. Um, one person who is credited for the popularization is Joel Sweeney. He is also credited for the fifth string on the banjo and he learned how to play from slaves on his dad's farm. The reason why this caught so much traction is because during this time minstrel shows were a widely popular form of entertainment. Jimmy Rogers is the quote-unquote father of country music. He got his sound from African-American singers, hobos, and dancers that he encountered while he worked as a rail switchman. He sang in a bluesy way and then he added yodels to it, creating the blue yodel. He also recorded with Louis Armstrong and his wife, um, which was not common because segregation was still a thing at the time. And he opened up the genre of country music. However, all of the people that he drew inspiration from were only allowed to go under the genre of race music, which was, categor which was marketed to and categorized for black people. And country and hillbilly was marketed towards white people which kept black Americans out of the country music genre. The divide between race music and country is still seen today. Country music is still predominantly white males and is the most rigid with letting outsiders in. The most experimentation between the genres when it comes to country music is from people who are already established with Nashville and their fan base. Lil Nas X is coming into the scene unapologetically Reclaiming history almost, a black man trying to break into a genre created and built upon by the black community. He is a legacy of sorts. With the rise in popularity, you've also seen a lot of other black musicians wearing Western clothes in support and celebration. The quote unquote traditional country music was enslaved people in the South playing the accounting 
in spite of being banned from playing the drums, which is very different from Sam Hunt and Blake Shelton. The exclusiveness of a whitewashed genre doesn't make it better or more traditional. It just highlights the history of the United States and the segregation between white and black artists. Hopefully, Lil Nas X can help break down these barriers. And claim a spot in the country billboard charts. Last but not least, this is where I got all my information from. Thank you for listening to my presentation.